Oh, it's time. Let's get some FX going. What up y'all, it's D. Jeff Wilson here at the Texas Fish Room. And the aquarium over here needs some filter upgrades. Granted, you just watch us do some to it. We did recently put the Seacam Title 75 on here, but I'm still not happy with the filtration we have on here. We also have this old API fill star, and actually this is even before it was API, it is the arena fill star. It's not pumping like as much as I'd, I'd like it to do. And I just want a little bit cleaner water in this for my parrots, which are all hiding because apparently they want to hide. Normally they're always for the camera. Let's jump off into it. So what we have here is an FX4. Like I said, now this video will apply to the FX4, 5, and 6 because they're all basically pretty much the same filters except the five and six does have another tray in there so you can set them up pretty much the same way just add add a little bit more biomedia let's show you how we're going to set this thing up jerry rig everything knife out of course they show you how to set everything up on here but I'll show you how i do it in person So we got our spray bar, tubing, ah, manual, of our fittings, pickup tube, clamps to hold it onto the tank. And the heart of the system. So with this, good thing about this, it all is held on extremely well. So you don't have to worry about as many water leaks as long as you have a good O-ring seal off in there. I've yet to have one of these fail. The good thing about this, easy to clean. All you gotta do is everything lifts up out of here at once. Of course, you do, there is another O-ring off inside here. A lot of people don't take care of. You need to watch that as well. There we go. Now this is gonna be our hose to go into our tank. We'll come back to that. We're going to start off with our trays. Of course, got your basic sponge in there. Some biomedia. We'll just go on and open this. We'll pour this off in here now. And you do have these sponges on the outside around the perimeter. We got another tray for some more biomedia. Also lifts out going into the filter socks they give you. Another sponge to go up in there. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to go and put this back off in here. I am going to add a little bit more biomedia to this. And that filter I have ready already, or that's on the Aquarium, I'm going to take the biomedia out of there and put it in this tray so we have even we have some pre cycled media. Granted, I don't have to do that because we do have that other filter on there with biomedia in there, it's not going to change the cycle. That tank's been up and running for a while, so not you got all the substrate in there, you got the wood that's in there. There's a lot of stuff already going where you don't actually have to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Be right back, okay. 
So now we got our extra biomedia in there from the other canister. We're gonna go ahead and put this filter back in there. We got our deals to make for easy cleanup. We're just gonna set this back in here for right now. Now, next part we come to is our hosing. Now this, we will actually have to cut. Generally what I do, I just cut it in half. can be a little bit of a pain because it is curled up. Get my knife again. have that okay for this next part you're gonna get your ring clamp slide it on slide it on there and get this good and tight with the flathead screwdriver we'll do this to both of them Crappy screwdriver is all I could find at the moment. Didn't want to go to the other shop to grab it. The right one. Same thing to this hose. You, know, you want to make sure this is tight. There is a lot of pressure coming out of your uh, exhaust hose. go for that now these real simple they're going to end up clamping on here push that button in it's good to go now as far as the other end like so this one I have on here is the intake real simple and it just slides on there like that now same thing with the Egg take or exhaust, whatever you want to call it, the out. Exact same thing. Just slides on. You're good to go. Let's move on over to the aquarium. So now that I have the canister in place, what I'm gonna do before we start hooking stuff up, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with some aquarium water. That way, whenever we got to plug this in so for it to start pumping, there's already water off in here to help the flow. That way it's not, there's something there. You don't want to burn up motors. You don't want to sit there and suck it, sit there and try to suck just air because there's no water. Now, Put this on. Now, when you're tightening these up, I do recommend going across, just like just like how you're doing a, whenever you change a car tire on there. That way, you're not putting too much pressure on one side compared to the other. And if you go around, you, by the time you get to this point, it's going to be a lot of pressure just on that. Where this way. We're working in where it won't have a chance to do that or as easy to cause that still to do a premature failure.
And right now I'm not fully tightening these. I am getting these somewhat snug, but not full tight here in a second. I'll fully tighten them. And as far as that goes, that's good to go. Let's move on to the other side of the tank. So now that we're up here, we wanna uh, put our clamps on here to help hold the hoses in place first. So I'm gonna put one on this side and one on the, the far side. Now this side's gonna be my intake. So let's grab that hose. Go ahead and stretch this out as far as we can because this is a deep aquarium, it's a 110 tall. So, we'll get this where we want it. It does have little suction cups on there to hold against the tank. We got that, but slide this over a little bit. Then you'll get these little clamps and they will snap into place and hold that hose. You got one in the front, one on the top, and one on the back. So this way you get a better view of it. These are these three clamps, one there, one here, and one here. So all it is, essentially it has little teeth on there to help grip it, to make it good and secure. Now we'll come and do the exact same thing to the other side. As you do see, it is spitting out the air because we didn't have that canister fully uh, with no air in there. So there, it does have to purge the air from the system that is in there because it was open and the top part half inch had air in there. So what's it's gonna do? It's gonna blow what it can out right now. Of course, it's now sucking up from over here. And Whenever it does that, like I said, this will stop for approximately two minutes, roughly, somewhere off in there. I don't remember exactly what it is, to help purge that system of air. And once it does that, like I said, every 12 hours it'll be running and help makes this aquarium be a lot cleaner because, like I said, this pump moves a whole lot more water than what we did have in here. Also, on these pumps, this right here is a clean out. So this other hose that came with it, but what, what, what it would do, you would essentially take this off, put that hose on there, open up that valve. And that helps cleaning this filter a lot easier. That way it's gonna have all the trots at the bottom of this You'll be able to push it, push what water out of it, and it makes it a lot easier to carry. Especially when you get some of these right here, which hold about five gallons of water. Whenever they do, whenever you do to empty it, it get heavy. And I have quite a few of these filters, canister filters, through here. So I do like that. The FX filters do have that on there. As far as something to show how clear the water can be with the FX filter. This right here is our African Cichlid Aquarium. I have just an FX6 and a sponge filter, which the sponge filter's not doing as much as it should because they keep burying it in rocks. But you can see how clean it is. We also have one over here on my Oscar tank. Hard to tell in here, this water is clear. I am in the process of getting ready to do some light upgrades, but that's for a future video. We're gonna let this filter for a few days, check it out. Like I said, I did this through a water change before I did this, so the water was stirred up from the sand as well. Hopefully the parrotfish like their new filter and there's some other reasons why we're putting more filtration on this aquarium but 
You'll have to stick around for that. And speaking for sitting around, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also hit that like button on this video as well. And if you really like it, hit that super thanks button. That really helps us out here because this facility is pretty expensive to run. So any little bit helps. Like I said, whether you just share this video around so more people can view it, let more people know about the Texas Fish Room, uh, anything to help us out. And coming July 4th, we will have new hats on the website. So be sure to pick them up as well. And as always, y'all take it easy.